The Environmental Protection Agency is apparently including old nuclear subs in its definition of low-level radioactivity. But Jack Music of the Virginia Institute of Marine Sciences says the two are not even in the same ballpark. When we talk about a nuclear reactor on a submarine or a power plant or whatever, we're talking about some very bad stuff. High energy waste like plutonium and uh, so on that have an incredibly long half-life. For all intents and purposes, it's around forever. Uh, and, and that is it, very poisonous. It's deadly. The Virginia Institute for Marine Science has conducted a study of low-level radioactive dump sites in the deep sea. And that study took place in this area right here. But it also included this area, where 20 years ago, the Navy dumped a nuclear submarine reactor. That's high-level nuclear waste. It was the only area in which scientists found no fish to study. And that makes researchers like Jack Music suspicious. It seems rather unusual that that was the only station at which, at which we caught no fish at all. They did find fish in the low-level area, but half were contaminated with radiation. Music says we don't know enough yet about the mysteries of the sea to even consider dumping high-level radioactive waste there. Yet the Navy must find a burial ground for its rapidly expanding fleet of nuclear subs, like the recently launched Norfolk. Environmentalists are afraid that Washington is concentrating on building these subs and not on finding out what to do when they've outlived their usefulness. Jack Music fears the same thing. It doesn't seem like a wise thing to do at this time anyway. Kathy Midkiff, The Daily News.